Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have a new election map to show you. Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Alaska is red with 3 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona is turning light pink for Donald J. Trump, but it keeps flip-flopping between gray, blue, and red, but it's light pink light brown or pink for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes is still a toss-up. It was red, but it's not looking that way as of right now. Hawaii at the very bottom is blue for Kamala Harris with four electoral votes. Colorado with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico with five electoral votes is light blue for Kamala Harris. As a tiny, tiny shift between dark blue and light blue, which means the tides are turning, but not very much. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump and Republicans. North Dakota, with three electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota is red for Donald J. Trump. Nebraska is red for Donald J. Trump. In the state, the second biggest district, but the tiniest district is blue. Now we got Kansas with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Okie is red for Donald J. Trump. Minnesota, don't you know, uh, with 10 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Iowa with six electoral votes is pink for Donald J. Trump. Missouri with 10 electoral votes is pink for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with eight electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin is gray. It will not be colored in. It is a toss-up. Michigan, with 15 electoral votes, is also gray. It is a toss-up. Illinois, with 19 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris and Democrats. Get ready for the red wave. It's coming up. Red. Indiana, 11 electoral votes. Red. Ohio, 17 electoral votes. Red. Kentucky, 8 electoral votes. Red. Tennessee, 11 electoral votes. Red. Mississippi, red for Donald Trump with 6 electoral votes. Alabama, sweet home, cousin lover, 9 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Georgia was gray yesterday, a toss-up. Now it is a light Pink, with 16 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. Florida, with 30 electoral votes, is a light pink again for Donald J. Trump. But it's shifting back and forth. There's a civil war going on between these states being red and pink and gray. South Carolina, with 9 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, with 16 electoral votes, is pink for Donald J. Trump. It is shifting once again to the Democrats. Virginia, with 13 electoral votes, is blue for Kamala Harris, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, take me home, Hickey Road, with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Pennsylvania is a very light pink once more. Donald Trump needs this state in order to win his pathway to victory. The rest of the states, except for Maine, M.E. at the top right, is a light pink. It is shifting once more to the Republican side, but barely. Now go to the blues because we're having a blue splash tsunami. The rest of the states, you've got Massachusetts, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Vermont, Philadelphia, the District of Washington, D.C., all blue for Kamala Harrison, Tampon, Tim Waltz. That currently puts Donald J. Trump at possibly 279, but... Since we have pink states shifting from red to pink to 
undecided toss-ups, it could go either way. All Kamala Harris needs to do is win Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, and Pennsylvania, also Georgia, and she will have won the election over Donald J. Trump if some of these pinks turn blue. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. electorally voted out.